Tonight marks one year since Andrew Brown Jr. was shot to death by Pasquotank deputies. Thanks for joining us. I'm Maria Elena Baloris. And I'm Tom Shad. It was a day of reflection and remembrance for the family. One year after deputies shot and killed Brown while they were trying to serve a drug warrant. The shooting was later determined to be legally justified after an investigation, but it also sparked weeks of protests and exposed a rift between law enforcement and some community leaders. A wrongful death lawsuit is still making its way through the courts. While tonight, people in the community remembered an event they say changed the city forever. Ten of your sides, John Dowding was also there tonight. Continues to heal a year after the death of Andrew Brown Jr. through Elizabeth City in the national spotlight overnight. A year later, signs of healing and leaders setting their sights on a new target to achieve change. Just pray for our family because we're going through a lot at this moment. The Brown family mourns the death of Andrew one year later, but also his sister who died on Easter Sunday. One of Andrew's aunts says his sister won't get to see what the family and activists have asked for since the beginning. The family would like to see a video entirety that's not redacted. You know, stop waiting until after the election to show a video. People need to see now what you've done. We're still out here for justice for Andrew Brown. Because as far as I'm concerned, as long as those sheriffs hold jobs, um, deputies hold jobs, nothing has changed. Brown's death made a mark on this city, with Black Lives Matter painted on the street next to the sheriff's office and active steps towards forming a citizen's advisory council in the works. But some say more needs to be done. Well, we're having a multitude of shootings. We're having gun violence all over the city. We've yet to see our new police chief. And this is not the way that you start interacting with the community that is hurting. River says the permit for today's march was denied without an explanation given. One way or another, they say their calls for change will be heard. I'm taking that fight to the poll. Who did they murder? Andrew Brown. Who did they kill? Andrew Brown. Let your voice be heard. You know, true equality is on election day. This is the important um, voting, not the president, but right here in our community. And we need new people on that, on that city council. We need people who care about the people. We need people who are going to work. Next weekend, community leaders will have a march to the polls on the first day of early voting here in North Carolina. The mayor, all city council, and the sheriff are all on the ballot in November. In Elizabeth City, I'm John Dowding. 10 on your side.